who are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, give him praise, give him honor, give him glory. So many people, I'm going to say it again, so many people have inboxed me on Facebook, on YouTube, everywhere. Everybody's just so outraged. Just, just be real with you. And to be honest with you, I'm going to keep it transparent like I always do. At first, um, I was too. Hold on, y'all, because I don't want um, my phone. Let me turn off the volume and all, all that. I was outraged too, just to be honest with you, um, because, and, and I'm going to hit all points right here. When you love God and you love the kingdom of God, you repping that 24-7. You go against your mama, your daddy, your, your boyfriend, your lover, your husband, your wife for the things of God. However, God don't need protection like y'all think. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, and I'm going to tell it all. I'm going to tell it all. So, a, a student of mine, and we were talking about what little Nas X with the, the devil shoes and with the picture of him being, so say, pregnant or whatever in the image. And I, I have to be honest with you. <laughs> Y'all know me. I say he should change his name from Lil Nas X to Lil Nasty X. You know, don't be messing up Nas' name, right? And immediately, I heard the Lord say, that's not right. He said, because I remember when you were nasty. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. I, I remember when you had some things going on. I remember when you, I, 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 I. And I shut up. I was like, mm, let me listen to what the Lord was saying. Church, that's why the church, people are not in the world coming to the church. Because you're running them away. You're running them away. And I'm going to start with me. I remember when I first came to God. I'm talking about I told everything. And it was used against me. I told that I had been in jail. I told I'd get drugs. I, I told it all. As a matter of fact, I remember crying in the church one day because they were, I can't believe you. I thought when I came in the church, I, I could tell it all because I'm free, right? That means I'm not doing those things anymore. And I got ridiculed. I got attacked. It was so much stuff I don't even want to keep going. And I understood what God was saying today when he was talking to me about Lil Nas and I'm going to break this thing down so biblical and powerful at the same time so it's going to be biblical things I'm saying too cast the first stone those that are without sin secondly I understand where some of you are coming from in a spiritual standpoint it is disrespectful to the kingdom of God the things that are happening not just with a lot of people now you have to understand there's two kingdoms, the kingdom of God, there's the kingdom of the devil. The leaders of the kingdom of, de of the devil, they, they, can't, they can't get that forgiveness from God because they're the one that running things. They're the one that actually pushing the whole agenda. So if they're a leader and they're doing that, then you know how God is about that stuff. And just like with Judas. You see, you can serve the devil ignorantly or willingly. Those leaders... And y'all know who they are by now. Y'all should, if, if you have any wisdom and discernment. They're running things. But when a person is ignorant of Satan's devices, God forgives them. That young man don't know whether he's coming or going. Because I, I've been read his story when he had that old town song, or whatever it is. Oh, y'all know, because everybody was singing it, just to be real with you, because we thought it was innocent. And that's when he came out saying that he was gay. Well, this is what God was telling me. That young man was sleeping on somebody's sofa. They grabbed him up. They gave him lots of money. Y'all already see the platform that they're giving him. Put yourself in those shoes. If you can't, just imagine and walk with me. Now, you just coming off somebody's sofa and somebody giving you millions. You really think if you're not grounded in God that you're not going to rebel and do whatever they say to do? Anyone would that was in that position. Now, hold on. I am not justifying sin. I'm going to say that again. I am not justifying sin. The devil is a liar. I'm trying to get y'all to understand what the, what the real church is supposed to be doing in this hour. All right? Hallelujah. Not bashing folks, but we're supposed to we're supposed to have a standard of so much love and the power of Christ that they are filled that conviction from God and the Holy Spirit. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Y'all sitting up there bashing and, and saying all kind of stuff. What is it going to do? 
because all they're doing is just feeding a few. Y'all making it more famous. As a matter of fact, y'all y'all making it more, and y'all already know that the children, their attention span in this lifetime right now is about right there. So whoever the famous person, that, that's who they're going after. Our position is to pray, said the Lord. Period, end of story. I put, and this, hold on. Not just on that level. On every level, even in the church. And I've seen it because I felt it because y'all did it to me. Hallelujah. I'm just going to be real. Number one, I can't help being a prophet. And a prophet, let me tell you something, is without honor towards their family, their friends, everybody. You, you got to be really saved to accept the prophet. Let's just be real right there. And I remember when God was really girding me and I was saying, thus said the Lord, I never forget. I never forget that moment in Sacramento because that was between, I think it was 2013 and 14. And I never forget the conversation that me and God had. I was sitting out literally crying. I said, God, why do I have to be that type of prophet? You know, people not going to like me. You know this and you know that. And I'm not trying to make this thing about me. I'm, I'm giving a point here. And I never forget what God told me. He said, Deanna, you must be so mature and in love with me that you ain't worried about them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God said. He said, you have to be so much in love with me that you're not worried about them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What they think, what they say. In the church, we have ran away so many people. So many people are in depression state in the church right now. Oppression, suppression. Because they're too afraid to tell you what they're really going through. The prostitute is too afraid to come off the corner because y'all going to look at her stupid and she, she she panting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, waiting to be saved, crying out. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. Crying out. The alcoholic, crying out. The drug addict, crying out. The liar, crying out. And they, they don't even know where to go these days because to be honest with you, what they see is what they do. Hallelujah, y'all ain't ready for me up in here, up in here. Doing the same thing they doing. So that's why, number one, they don't respect the church. The second is y'all throw them away. Always judging people. You got to love people where they're at. I'm not saying accept the sin, but you have to love them where they're at. Because only love. God, the scripture said, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. Oh, my God, I'm so glad Jesus didn't do like some people do when we were in that sin. He did not bash us. He did not, he did not beat us up. But instead, he said, he stretched out his hand, he stretched out his arms and said, come, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Church, when are we going to start making the yoke easy for people and the burden light? Our position is to pray like never before, thus said the Lord. That's our position. Again, I am not condoning any sin. I want to keep clarifying that because you know people will say, well, it, it, no, no, no. I'm saying Start to love people back to life. Start praying more instead of having an opinion and bashing people. But don't worry, because in this hour, there's an anointing that's getting ready to convict everybody. God is cleaning it out from the choir to the pulpit to the pews, honey. And even on Facebook Live and even on YouTube, God is cleaning up his church. Hallelujah. You're going to have to be holy. And holiness is a lifestyle. It is not a look. Some of y'all be trying to come against me. Oh, you got lipstick on. You got. I'm so glad that Jesus is my judge and jury and not you. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here, up in here. When we going to just love even each other because so much envy and jealousy and hate and rage and anger, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, is taking over. It's out in the world and not here. Sit into the church. Coming against each other, getting jealous of each other's gifts. They don't want to be a brother or sister to somebody. They can somebody want you. Ooh, I said that. There are some powerful brothers on here that I have tried to, um, you know, like connect with. I don't want you. I just want to connect because you are powerful in the Lord. Y'all ain't ready for me. Unless God say that's, that's what it is, then that's what it's not. I'm just saying. Everybody just acting so ugly with each other. What is going on? And yet we want to say we're a Christian. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. We got to walk it like we're talking in this hour. Because people are watching. They've always been watching. But why would they want to come to the church? Because the church is supposed to represent healing and love, resurrection, rescue, not condemnation and shame. 
and I'm going to beat you up because you're in sin. Because truth be told, we all fall short of the glory of God and sin. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. And I know some of you are not going to like this because everybody, the masters want you to go with the masters and this. I'm not rolling with nobody but God. Now, if you're rolling with God, I'm rolling with you. But if you're not rolling with God, I'm not rolling with you. You can get mad all day long. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So I just wanted to get up on here. But also, um, no, I'm going to come back and do another live on that. I want to keep the, the two um, separate. But I love y'all. I do. But I got to tell y'all the truth because, you know, when God correct me, I'm going to tell y'all because... It's about a church thing. It's not about a worldly thing. We got to stop acting like the world for real. Have too many opinions and not enough prayers. Love people back to life. That's my motto. Love people back to life. Because when, when, when they feel that love of God resonating from your spirit, the presence of God, the power of God, the anointing of God, that's when people are healed. That's when people are delivered. That's when people are changed. That's when people are set free. Hallelujah. It is not by your opinion of beating them up from your family to the stranger to your enemy. Stop doing that to people and love them back to life. No, you don't have to accept their sin because I don't. I'm not anything that God is against, I'm against. Let's make that clear. But it's a way to do it. It's a way to do it, said God. So God bless you. God keep you. You all know I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I truly do. I truly, truly do. So God bless. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.